Welcome back to Season 6, Episode 3 of Your Peddler News. We're anchors, Alex Garvin. And Emily Salorza. As most fall sports close in on their postseasons, we've dedicated an entire segment to interview some of them. Let's head over and tee off with the golf team. I'm here with Houston Danzer and Conley Osborne. Both of them are on the men's and women's golf teams, and they both finished their seasons. So since your seasons have finally wrapped up, what is your most memorable moment? Um, at our overnight tournaments, R.C. Porter singing us lullabies to sleep. Lovely. <laughs> what about you, Houston? Uh, I don't know. You know, the whole season was awesome, so it's kind of hard to pick something out of such a great season. You know, so mm -hmm. I don't really know. I can't really pick. You know, it's hard. Okay. And then, who is y'all's favorite golfers? Uh, Lexi Thompson. Uh, Zach Johnson. Gotcha. Thanks, y'all. I'm here with girls soccer players Maddie Hayden and Jenna Young. They just came off a fantastic game against the Ohio County Eagles winning 10-0, but it was also senior night. Maddie, what are your thoughts about senior night? That was an awesome game. We beat them 10-0 for our senior night. They were supposed to be one in the region, but that just proves that they are two and one. And so we are going to hopefully do our best during district and go to state every region, one in one region. Absolutely. And we're approaching the end of the season here, so Jenny, how are you feeling about your team's position as you approach the postseason? Uh, I would second that, and we're going to stay. And yeah, absolutely. Win. <laughs> you heard it from here first. I'm here with two soccer players, Austin Martin and Joseph Kurtz. How do you feel about the season? This season has been the best out of the four years for me, for sure. The team is just, they're all so close. It's different. It's been different every year. And that's why I think we've had so much success this season. And being, yeah, being a freshman, I, I didn't see a season like this coming. But, I mean, all the seniors, 10 seniors, really being leaders. And it's just been a great season. It definitely sounds like a strong team. So how do you guys feel about what's your goals for punk season? Uh, my main goal is to make make the region tournament. Yeah. That'll be the fourth time since KHSA has been even documenting this. So that'll be good. It'll be a tough one against Owensboro, but I think we can play it from there on. We can just work our way through. Well, awesome. Good luck, you guys. Oh. I'm Rachel Trailer here with Austin Marsh and Anna Catherine Walton from the cross country team. So you most recently ran in the city county meet. How'd it go? Well, we competed really good. Just happy with the performance and ready for the remainder of the season. Good, good. And then, um, as Regent's coming up, how's the girls' team looking? Um, we're looking pretty good. Um, I feel like we have a really good shot at winning Regent, so that's probably the goal. Yeah, I wish you all the best of luck. And one more thing. Austin Marsh, do you care to demonstrate a sprint for me? I would love to. Good luck as you finish your seasons, guys. September 15th through October 15th is known as Hispanic Heritage Month, which is important to a large population of Catholic high students. So let's pass it on to Hesenia Garcia, president of the International Club, to tell us about how this month impacts a lot of our peers. I'm Ella Grace Buckman, and I'm here with Hesenia Garcia. Hesenia Garcia is the president of International Club. Can you tell me a little bit what International Club is? So International Club, we meet every Tuesday morning at 7.40 in Mr. O's room. Um, we just explore about different cultures and try to learn more about different cultures. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what you want the students to know about International Club? Anything you want the student body to know? Well, we're all looking for more male members. All we have are girls right now. I mean, we're open to everyone and we have food, so. <laughs> That's important. Yeah. Um, also, right now is Hispanic Heritage Month, so can you tell me what that means to you? It means to me that I can be proud of who I am and that I don't have to hide, you know, I'm Mexican, so mm -hmm. be proud. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm here with senior Colton Grant. Colton, what does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to you? Uh, it means I get to represent my people and uh, yeah, show out for them. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm Katie Ronnie, and I'm here with Rodrigo Felipe Hernandez. So, what does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to you? Um, it means to me that all the Hispanic people come together and celebrate this awesome month where I take part of it, um, where almost all the Hispanic people that are Hispanic come together and uh, do awesome things. And the way that this school has a lot of 
Hispanic people is is pretty awesome because since it's a private school, there isn't much Hispanic people, and I think that the Hispanic people needs to be more recognized in this school. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. I'm here with Lily Rodriguez. So, can you tell me what Hispanic Heritage Month means to you? Yeah, so Hispanic Heritage Month means actually a lot to me because, I mean, it's just kind of celebrating all the Hispanics around the world and all of that we've done in the world as well. And, um, and it's just amazing to see how the school celebrates uh, Hispanics together. Yes, that's amazing. Thank you. Estoy aquí con Mr. O. Mr. O, ¿qué significa la herencia hispana para ti? Para mí, la herencia hispana significa la inclusión de la cultura hispana, celebrando los logros de las personas en Estados Unidos, contribuyendo la cultura con todos. Ok, muchas gracias, Mr. O. Back to you, Emily. Thanks, Emily. This Thursday, we had our annual Grandparents' Day Mass. So turn on the Fox News and crank the thermostat up to 102. It's time to interview the grandparents. So who is your grandchild? I have two here. Okay. I have Zachary Pierman and Colin Wanniger. Okay, and so what is your favorite thing about them? I just love them to pieces. They're so thankful and so sweet and kind and love you to everybody. Good, thank you. Thank you. So who are your grandchildren? Uh, I have Katie Riney, Maddie Hayden, Sophia, and Isabella Hayden. And then what's your favorite thing about them? They are all great girls. So here are your grandchildren. Well, I have four. I have Maddie Hayden, and then I have Christina Head, and then I have Sophia and Isabella Hayden. And um, they're all just as much fun as I can be. I just love to be around them. Thank you. Make me feel young. <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Bays. Mr. Bays, who's your grandchild? Marley Bays. Okay, what's your favorite thing about? Well, she loves golf. She's on the golf team, and I, I play golf too and I'd love to play them with her. That's awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. Who are your grandchildren? Elizabeth and Tucker Wright. And then what's your favorite thing about them? They're loving, kind, and we enjoy spending time with them. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Who are your grandchildren? Dakota, little boy. What is your favorite thing about them? Well, oh, she's an, an achiever. She achieves so much, and she's chilly. Good, thank you. And that was her dream, to be a cheerleader. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm here with Miss Long. Miss Long, who are your grandchildren? My grandchildren are Harper Latham and Michael Lyon. Very sweet kids. What are your favorite things about them? I love the way they always seem to be happy, enjoying life, always ready to go to school and be with their friends. Well, thank you so much. And she's actually alumni from here. So. Yes. <laughs> thank yes. you. Thank you. Hi, so who's your grandchild? Stephen Eves. And what's your favorite thing about him? Oh, probably, unfortunately, his sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Who is your grandchild? Meredith Fisher. And what is your favorite thing about her? She is always happy, unless she has a lot of tests for the next week. That's fair. She loves animals. Okay. And uh, she, she's going to get her license. Good, thank you. I'm here with Miss Shelton. Miss Shelton, who's your grandchild? Todd Ryder. Yeah. What's your favorite things about him? He's exuberant and he's kind to everybody and he loves everything he does. Perfect. Thank you. So here are your grandchildren. Uh, one of them is Ashton Tigner. The other one is Addison Tigner. The other one is Hannah Tigner. And then Jude Cecil. That's awesome. Now what's your favorite thing about them? Okay. About Addison is she's funny and she's cute and she's athletic yes. and Ashton is sensitive, she's sweet and she's kind Aww. and Hannah she's just a mess, she's just the cutest thing in the whole world and Jude he's just uh, a great kid, he's a great grandson. Yes that's amazing, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Who are your grandchildren? Uh, Eva Higdon and Veronica Higdon. What's your favorite thing about them? Um, probably their spontaneity, spontaneity, <laughs> and um, uh, their their love of their school. Uh, they um, are really good kids. Uh, enjoy 
my grandkids so much, and I'm glad to be a part of this mass here today. So to celebrate with them, so their faith, yeah. also their faith. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. So who is your grandchild? Good morning. How you doing? Uh, how you doing? Hey, I'm Sam who is your grandchild? Grandchild uh, Nicholas. And what is your favorite thing about him? Oh, everything is good. He's, he's not a bad boy at all. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Who's your grandchild? Uh, Brenda and Kenley. Oh, I love them. What's your favorite thing about them? Uh, spirited. <laughs> love. They, they, they're, they're, they're very loving. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. Yep. So who's your grandchild? Katie Fulkerson. And what is your favorite thing about her? Everything. <laughs> In all seriousness, we love our grandparents and all the contributions they made to our school community. We've added some extra clips from Grandparents Mass at the end of this episode, so stay tuned for those. That about wraps it up for this episode. We hope you all enjoyed. For Peddler News, I'm Alex Garvin. And I'm Emily Salorza. And until next time, stay out of the news. So it'll be news to you. Perfect.